Welcome to the introduction to Playlist Controls and Display Studio. This video demonstrates playlist controls in scripting containers, skipping to the next file, and pausing and resuming files. Follow along on screen or with your own Dactronics equipment during the tutorial. Begin a new button by right clicking within a scripting container. Use the plus sign in the bottom left corner to add a new line of script. In step 1, choose DMP8000 Player Control, then select the zone you wish to control in step 2. Step 3 reveals a list of options. These options allow for playback control and manage how files play in the zone selected in step 2. For a looping playlist, which automatically moves from one file to the next, use the Create Playlist option. Playlists can also be configured to allow the operator to manually control when to move from one file to the next. For this option, select Add to Playlist. In Step 4, choose Add to select the files for the playlist. Hold the Shift or Control button on the keyboard to select multiple files. Files will be added to the playlist in the order in which they're selected. Move to step 5 to choose whether you want each file to play continuously until the operator moves to the next file, or play a certain number of times before automatically moving on to the next. This step only controls the playback of each individual file in the playlist and not the loop of the playlist as a whole. Note that the Add to Playlist option will add files to anything that is currently playing in the selected zone. If a file or playlist is playing to that zone, you will need to either blank the zone or use the Play Next option to skip to the next file. Let's review the other playlist options in Step 3. These options include Pause and Resume, which allow you to pause playback on any file playing to the selected zone and then resuming content from the current position. Play Next will skip to the next file in a playlist. Operators can use this item to manually move to the next item in the playlist queue. Use Loop Playlist and Unloop Playlist to control whether a playlist starts back at the beginning once each file has played, or whether the zone will blank once the last item has finished playing. Adding this line into an existing Add to Playlist button will ensure that the playlist functions in the desired manner once the button is clicked. Finally, the Clear Playlist option clears any remaining files in a playlist while the current file in that zone remains playing. This concludes the tutorial for playlist controls. Continue to other videos to learn more about your Dactronics control system.